Hi all, I am Anju PS and today I am taking about microwave and irradiation. Microwave in food processing. Mi microwave oven uses microwaves to heat food and especially microwaves are radio waves. In 1945, Dr. Percy Spencer accidentally discovered that microwaves could be used for cooking. So, Percy Spencer was discovered that microwaves could be used for cooking. He is the first person who discovered that microwaves are used for cooking. In radio waves are in the frequency roughly 2500 MHz that is 2.5 GHz commonly used frequency of this microwave uh, technology is 2450 MHz to 915 MHz that is 2450 MHz to 915 MHz the radio wave absorbed by water fat and sugars that is the food molecules or food substrates are absorbed this radio waves while plastic glass or ceramics that is utensils are not absorbed this radio waves so it is very safe this is the wavelength and frequency range of uh, different types of waves and the radio waves in the frequency of 300 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz and the wavelength is one millimeter to one kilometer then microwave and infrared then uv x-ray and gamma rays Radio waves are in the frequency range 3 MHz to 300 MHz and in the case of microwaves 300 MHz to 300 GHz. This induces polar molecules in the food to rotate and produce thermal energy is in a process known as dielectric heating. So the principle of microwave heating is ultimately dielectric heating. In microwave cooking the radio waves penetrate the food and excite water and fat molecules evenly throughout the, throughout the food. There is no heating to migrate towards the interior by conduction. The heat everywhere all at once because the molecules are excited together. The molecules are the food molecules, food molecules are excited together and results in heating and cooking of the food materials. There are certain advantages and disadvantages in each and every case and in the case of microwave oven, the advantages are cooking time is very short. Destruction of nutrients is very less, no physical changes of foods, melting process is easy and sterilization effect exists. In the case of disadvantages, the constraint with the metal container, second is heat for free control is difficult, third is water evaporation, fourth is closed container is dangerous because it could be burst. Then surface toasting is impossible. This is the structure of a microwave oven. The main structure of microwave oven technology is a magnetron tube. That is the source of radiation of engine or generator of this microwave oven. That is magnetron tube, magnetron. Then a, mo a moisture is there, wide gate, oven cavity, filter, setup, transformer, power plug, etc. are there. This is the shortest form of uh, microwave oven diagram. And these are the parts. Simplest method of presentation then the next topic is food irradiation food irradiation is a process whereby food is exposed to a carefully measured amount of intense radiant energy called ionizing radiation food irradiation is a process whereby food is exposed to a carefully measured amount of intense radiant energy called ionizing radiation how does food irradiation work irradiation the food radiation has energy capable of producing ions and transient reactive molecular species and collision occurs electrons are removed. Thus reactive species are capable of degrading and altering the biopolymers such as DNA and protein. The DNA and protein structure of microorganisms are denatured and the ionizing radiation causes DNA damage directly. This will result in the inhibition of microbial Inhibition or microbial death, that is high energy radiation causes fragmentation of DNA inhibiting microbial growth. Hmm? High energy radiation from the irradiated materials causes fragmentation of DNA and in inhibiting the microbial growth. That is enzyme plus DNA destruction occurs where the microbes are uh, no more or microbial death occurs. Process of food irradiation. Packaged food is passed under a source of irradiation at a certain speed to receive a, the desired amount of dose. Packaged foods are mostly uh, irradiated and it is uh, under the source of irradiation at a certain speed to receive the desired amount of dose. Source of ionizing energy can be gamma rays from cobalt 60 and CC 137. The source of main source of ionizing radiations are from the isotopes of cobalt 60 and CC 137. It increases shelf life by slowing ripening of fruits and vegetables. Gamma radiation 
does not elicit neutrons particles conferring radioactivity and the food thus packaged are not made radioactive the foods are safe in irradiated because it does not elicit neutrons particles confer produce radio no particles doesn't produce radioactivity and the foods and packages are very safe in this process then dose and effect of dose of irradiation irradiation dose is measured in gray and where on gray is 100 rad on gray is 100 rad and parasites and insects best are killed by 0.1 kg that is the large amount of dna they have so easily uh, distra uh, distracted this or denatured this dna by using 0.1 kg in the case of bacteria have smaller dna and difficult to uh, irradiate it. that is uh, 0.3 to 0.7 kg was used in the smaller amount of dna for bacteria and bacterial spores it is very very small and used 2.0 kg while in the case of viruses small dna so resistant to approved dosage dosage of food and it's not killed by using irradiation technology the case of prions also which made uh, which can cause mad cow disease lack nucleic acid this it is also not damaged by irradiation virus and spores bacterial vi sorry viruses and prions are not denatured by using the, the dns of these viruses and prions are not denatured by irradiation technology while bacterial spores are killed by irradiation technology by using 2.8 kg Irradiation is a non-thermal process utilized to achieve the preservation of food. While uh, microwave heating is a thermal process, the case of irradiation it is a non-thermal process used to achieve preservation of food. Irradiation even after radarization. Radarization is a process of uh, giving radiation at the dose of 0.4 to 10 kg, while radicidation is at the range of 40 to 45 kg does not impart heat to food and nutritional quality of the food is generally unaffected it does not impart heat to food and the nutritional quality is um, very much same as that of the um, raw food in 1983 codex elementaris commission accepted that foods radiated up to 10 kg were safe okay 10 kg of radiation is very safe and uh, codex elementaris commission accepted that foods radiation radiated up to 10 kg were safe dosimetry is used for measuring radiation dose dosimetry is the unit for measuring the radiation dosimetry is the unit used for measuring the radiation dose low dose application up to 1 kg the irradiated dose can be converted to three types that is uh, low dose application median dose application and high dose application the case of low dose application up to 1 kg is used to control insects inhibit maturation inhibit sprouting and also for parasites because the dna of these insects and uh, parasites are larger and use up to 1 kg in the case of medium dose application 1 kg to 10 kg were used to extend shelf life reduce microorganism level medium dose was used to kill uh, microorganism to uh, and extend the shelf life high dose application above 10 kg to sterilize scanning this is a symbol used for uh, irradiated food materials and this symbol is known as radiora it is an international accepted symbol uh, indicating a food product has been irradiated the radiora is usually green and resemblance a plant in a circle thanks for watching this slide and stay safe and healthy